Uh, our producers <laughs> went to this film and say it is absolutely wild. Crazy. Isla Fish just stars alongside Matthew McConaughey and the Beach Bum. Their names are great Moon Dogs. And many. This is so. This movie is crazy. <laughs> You'd have to agree. Like this is yeah. you reading the script and you were like, I can't believe we're gonna do half of this. Well, stuff. she just said, I can't believe you found something to air. Like, did you <laughs> I, like know, I was just looking at the trailer in press. No, it was definitely as sort of decadent and wild off camera as it appears on camera. I mean, uh, Harmony Corinne is obviously a very non-traditional director who mm -hmm. doesn't work in a kind of a linear way. You shoot the scene, you know, one place. Like right now, we'd shoot the scene, then we'd just move locations and shoot the exact same scene and. He's just, uh, he's so creative and uh, such an interesting guy. So it was fun to work with him, but definitely it, it was crazy. I had to have sort of kissing scenes with Snoop Dogg and Matthew and so, well, 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 so, a lot going so, wait on. A minute. Wait, wait, um, before, uh, <laughs> so when you say kissing scenes with Matthew and Snoop. The greatest period <laughs> of all time. We're talking about like the kind of like a relationship <laughs> situation, right? Right. Which, the three yeah, of you. And Snoop Dogg is about six foot I mean, he's, I don't know, he's so tall. I could, I mean, I have a back injury almost from having, you know, from that scene. And then Matthew is, um, you know, it's McConics. It was crazy. It was crazy. McConics. <laughs> it's, it's my nickname for him. Did he have a nickname for you? Yeah, he used to call me by his, uh, his little ginger goat. <laughs> goat. Uh, it says that you said goat. He did, I did say goat. I said goat. Little ginger goat. Goat. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was it. You've seen the pig noise, never right, getting that goat. Been... That's what I come on for. The Thank you for humoring us with that. Did you laugh with your husband about these scenes with Matthew and Snoop? Like, that's just funny to it me. It is. I mean, listen, he's done some funny scenes too, my husband. I mean, he, you know, mainly with men in most of his movies. <laughs> true, but, um, true. But, uh, yeah, it's always it's always surreal doing this. And everybody on this movie, there's a lot of, you know, marijuana smoked. Mm -hmm. And I felt like everybody was like, I, I was just, I was like, I'm getting a contact high just by being <laughs> near anyone. I was terrified of that. Can you just um, talk to us a little bit about like the toe sucking scene? <laughs> what is the toe? I need to know about it. Everybody's talking about it in our office. Everybody came back and they were like, yeah, this is a, this is a scene. I've never seen anything like this so before. So explain what's going on. I mean, it was sort of semi-improvised, but Matthew has been away. His character Moon Dog's been away for a period of time. He's an artist. He's a very kind of uh, hedonistic sort of uh, free spirit. My character and his character have a very bohemian relationship. And he comes back and, and, and begins to suck my toes. And I did think, oh, I said, Matthew, I've been walking around set with <laughs> no shoes on and it's late in the afternoon. You really want to? But it was too late. They were in his mouth. Oh. And so when you say, like, when you say, like, improv, like, that's like, Oh, we're going, we're going. You don't like get to dip your toe in like no. a Listerine or like a, it, you know, minted up or anything? No, um, I did not have a foot facial before my big moment. <laughs> right. um, no, you kind of work on things and play around in rehearsal. And what's great about working with someone like Matthew is he's just such a pro. Once he's in character, he's really, mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know, I really, he's a really, really talented performer. Let's be clear though, he's not acting. This is the true <laughs> Matthew McConaughey <laughs> that I know right there, right? This is him. No, this is him acting, believe me. He's so yeah. He's um. He's got it. You know. He's got it. He's a really good actor. Oh, it's great. Uh, we had you. You came on the stage for us uh, on, the, on the red carpet for the Golden Globes. You oh, and yeah. your husband. Oh, yeah. We were talking about limo loving oh, at yeah. the Golden Globes. You know, people showing up after getting a little frisky. Yeah. In the limo on the way. Here's what you said. It's actually a little limo love. It's a what? Limo love. It's making love inside in a limo. A limo. I oh, really. That's happening out there. I did not. I did not see did that it. that happen? Yeah. It did. It, I'm glad that you brought this up yeah. because it did. It yeah. did. Oh my goodness. And it was pretty good. Let me tell you, it's not often you get to be the Golden Globe nominee in a limo. And exactly. you still look this good when it's all done. That's the benefit of a big puffy dress. Oh, God. <laughs> now listen, as a busy mother, I actually like this concept. We're getting into a limo? No, limo loving or car loving. Keeping it oh. quick. Yeah. I don't know if it's legal. What? <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to just fry As I said, I and would <laughs> never do that. I, others, I, that is you disgusting. You can frighten by. Yes. Uh, I don't know what time you got up this morning, <laughs> but you just pitched a. No, others do that. Shame on them. Shame uh, on let's them. Let's go to children and talk about a children's book. <laughs> that's a very natural. That's Same a very natural way. transition. Same I wanna, way. I want to tell Not you. Not inside a limo, kids. These this are is fantastic. Oh, thank you. This is Marge and the Missing Orangutan. This is my fourth book in the series. 
um, and it's just so much fun uh, creating this character and getting to connect with kids and and to sort of you know be part of storytelling in a different way, not as an actor. And uh, I'm really proud of it. And I hope to make a TV show uh, of the books. You do want to make a TV show because yes. it just seems like it's ready for licensing deal yes. for sure. Movie, <laughs> a little movie. Yeah, it's she's such a it's such a cute world, and uh, I would love to do that. So I'm just sort of looking at my options now. Would yeah. your kids are they into acting or no? Um, I mean, no, listen, I mean, I want, uh, my kids said, uh, you know, I, I, I started the voice of Marge at bedtime, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, there's only so long you can do impressions of, you know, their friends, parents, before they want some <laughs> new material. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and so she was just the voice that everybody loved, and it sort of evolved into these short stories and eventually into long form. and. And so uh, I'm sure they'd love to see the show. Isla, love you it. are the bomb. Yes. Please come back anytime. Just hang out. Let's get you some coffee. She's got the premiere tonight. Exactly. Yes. We scared her with our enthusiasm. <laughs> so we're gonna, she will be ready for tonight. Indeed. <laughs> the Beach Bum is in theaters tomorrow, and Margin Charge and The Missing Orangutan is available now. Really cute read, parents. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.